Luke 12. In the meantime, when there were gathered together an innumerable multitude of people, so much so that they trod one upon another, he began to say to his Talmudim, First of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisee, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he has killed, has power to cast into Gehenna. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? And not one of them is forgotten before Yahuwah. But even the very hairs of your head are numbered. Fear not, therefore. Ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also, I say unto you, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the son of Adam also confess before the angels of Jehovah. But he that denies me before men shall be denied before the angels of Jehovah. And whosoever shall speak a word against the son of Adam, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemes against the Ruach HaKodesh, it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you unto the synagogues, and unto magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what thing ye shall answer, or what ye shall say. For the Ruach HaKodesh shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. And one of the company said unto him, Rabbi, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed, and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And he spoke a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all of my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have much goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But Yah said unto him, You fool, this night your soul shall be required of you. Then who shall those things be which ye have provided? So is he that lays up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward Yahuwah. And he said unto his Talmudim, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than food, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and Yah feeds them. 
how much more are you better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you that Shalomah in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then ye also clothe the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little belief? And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of Yah, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, so that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that fails not, where no thief approaches, neither moth corrupts. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he comes, shall find watching. Amen, I say unto you, that he shall gird himself, and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know, that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the son of Adam comes at an hour when you think not. Then Kepha said unto him, Adonai, speak this parable unto us, or even to all. And Adonai said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. But and if that servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delays his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looks not for him, and in an hour when he was not aware, and will cut him asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant, which knew his master's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not, and did commit things worthy of stripes, shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him 
shall much be required, and to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? But I have an immersion to be immersed with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth? I tell you, nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five and one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he said also to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway you say, There comes a shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you see, There will be heat, and it comes to pass. Ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Yea, and why? Even of yourselves judge ye not what is right. When you go with your adversary to the magistrate, as you are in the way, give diligence that you may be delivered from him, lest he hail you to the judge, and the judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer cast you into prison. I tell you, you shall not depart thence till you have paid the last mite.